Well, a town of Tonawanda staple is going to be back in business tomorrow. Despite announcing last spring, the owner was going to retire. To on your side's Danielle Church shows us why the hot dog stand is planning to stick around a lot longer. Louis Hot Dogs in the town of Tonawanda has a lot of history. In 1949, Louis Turco opened this location as a diner. But then in 1951, he and his wife Josephine decided we don't need a diner. We need a hot dog stand, which is what everyone has known and loved in this community for 71 years. And when it almost closed, it devastated the town. In fact, the history is one of the biggest reasons that this place isn't going anywhere. My dad was in World War II, and while he was in the war, he was sent letters back to my mom because he went into the army and they were going to send him home because he had bad eyesight. He wore thick glasses and he did not want to go home. So they said, can you cook? He said, well, I can learn. He started out with a learning curve and ended up the creator of the footlong hot dog and curly fries. When Louis retired in 2010, it was his son Angelo who took over. And last May, Angelo decided it was time for him to retire while also facing a staffing shortage. There was no one to take over and no other option. He'd have to close. But tomorrow, the iconic hot dog stand is fully staffed to serve Western New Yorkers once again. He would sleep here. Uh, this business meant everything to him. It's who he was. All because Angelo's cousin will keep Louis' legacy alive in Tonawanda. I am not changing a damn thing. This is living, breathing, growing nostalgia. You know, I've talked to people whose grandparents brought them here, whose parents brought them here, who are now bringing their kids and great grandkids here. And Louis will officially be back open tomorrow at 1030. Reporting in Tonawanda, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.